It is Thursday, November 7th. I'm Alicia Smith. Firefighters say a 61 year old man is dead after an early morning house fire on Detroit's west side. This happened on Monica Street near Livernoy and Elmhurst. No word yet on what started that fire. A teenager is recovering after being shot following a fight police say started over loud music. 16 year old Taya Hines's mother says the girl was shot in the stomach Sunday when they both had gone over to ask their neighbor to turn down his music. Right now, police are still looking for the man. An engineer from Ypsilanti is under arrest, accused of sending text secrets to Iran. The FBI says Amin Hassanzadeh sent confidential information to his brother, who reportedly has ties to Iran's nuclear weapons industry. Time for a look at the forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Well, this morning we're watching snow, but this afternoon decreasing clouds, and we're going to have highs only around 37 degrees today. It's going to feel like it's in the upper 20s through the afternoon with a 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze. Tonight, then, partly cloudy, a few flurries possible. Lows around 22 degrees. Give a real cold Friday morning. Mostly sunny, though, Friday afternoon, the high again of 37. Low 40 Saturday and Sunday. Really cold air moving in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week. We could have lows in the teens and highs only near 30. Could be some accumulated snow by Monday night. All right, thank you, Kevin. Well, today, free water filters are being handed out at the St. Clair Shore Senior Activity Center. That's located on Stevens between I-94 and Little Mac. That event runs from 4 until 8 o'clock tonight. And this comes after four homes in that community exceeded state standards for lead in the water. Those are your headlines. Don't forget you can get news anytime on WXYZ.com and our 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great Thursday.